Hey guys, this is Red Frost and welcome to Star Wars TIE Fight. At the Battle of Javan, rebel terrorists, aided by spies and traitors within the Empire, struck a cowardly blow at the new symbol of Imperial power, the Death Star. Darth Vader brought swift justice to the rebels by destroying their main base on Hoth. The pitiful remnants of the Alliance have now scattered to the Outer Rim. In the days ahead, the Emperor will call upon the Imperial Navy to eradicate the last vestiges of the rebellion and restore law and order to the galaxy. Star Destroyers on approach to Coruscant, the Imperial Seat of the Galaxy. The Emperor has summoned his fleets to unveil the future of the Empire. TIE Fighters escort shuttles to Coruscant City where the Emperor is about to speak. Empire is on the verge of success. Soon, peace and order will be restored throughout the galaxy. Even now, our capable forces, led by Darth Vader, are striking back at the rebel insurgents. Imperial Armada under the command of Darth Vader, out of Red Sector near a rebel base. The rebels are unprepared for our attack. Signal Vice Admiral Thrawn to launch his TIE squadrons immediately. This rebel stronghold has no hope of escape. Commence the attack. Yes, sir. Enter your name, pilot. I am Red Frost. Yay! I'm a fleet cadet. Excellent. So guys, welcome to the Imperial Navy. This is a game that's just filled with nostalgia for me. So I used to play this back in 1994, I believe. Uh, this is actually the second game in the series. The first game was Star Wars X-Wing. This is Star Wars TIE Fighter, in which you play uh, an Imperial pilot, part of the Imperial Navy, fighting for the Empire. How many times did I say Empire? Anyway, this is the main menu of sorts. This is where I just... No, this is where I just came in through. This is a training simulator where you can go in and test out all the different craft that you're gonna be flying throughout the game. So we got TIE Fighter, TIE Interceptor, TIE Bomber, the TIE Advanced, which technically gets developed in the timeline of this game. Assault Gunboat, the TIE Defender, which is actually seen in a couple of games, the Missile Gunboat, and that's about it. And you have different levels that you can actually test your uh, ships on. It's mostly just going through rings and shooting stuff. But that's fine, we're not gonna do that right now. I know how to fly. Which reminds me, anyone who wants to play this game, you can get it uh, at GOG.com, good old games. And in order to, sp 
to play the special edition versions, you're going to need a joystick. And I'm actually playing with a joystick. Well, I'm using the mouse right now, but you're gonna need a joystick. Uh, combat chamber. I don't remember this. What's this? I'm guessing this is... Oh! Okay, so the other one's to test your piloting skills. This one is to test your fighting skills. Yep. And it has different mission objectives depending on the craft you're using. Like, for example, with the bomber, you get to test how to use your torpedoes and stuff. And obviously with the tight defender and such, uh, dogfights and such, because the TIE Defender, unlike other TIE models, uh, has shields, and so on and so forth. And you can actually select what type of mission you want to train on, but that's fine. We're not going to do that just yet. There's the film room, which is probably going to be blank. Yeah, exactly. You, as you go through missions, you get to record your missions and you can see your progress in this room where you get to see the battle from a uh, very strategic standpoint or you can actually watch it in a 3D environment. Although, I don't remember if this game actually has a 3D environment thing. I know the other ones did, but I don't recall. It's been a long time since I played this, guys. It's, this is quite the nostalgia trip for me, so we can't access that yet, and this is to continue from your last save. Since we're just starting to play this, I'm just gonna go for a new battle. Yeah, so here's the other thing with the game. You can actually select what, uh, <laughs> exactly, which chapter you want to start on. But since we're gonna go through the whole thing from scratch, let's start with the first campaign, which is the Battle of Hoth, or rather, the Aftermath of Hoth. Let's go to the briefing, shall we? One TIE fighter from Alpha, Beta, and Gamma squadrons will be out on patrol around Outpost D-34. I'll be Alpha-1. Your mission is to inspect all cargo-carrying vessels as they pass by our station. Okay. We are on the lookout for rebel forces that are fleeing from their base on Hoth. Okay, that makes sense. So, that's the tactical map view. If uh, I want to get more details, I'll just talk to the officer. What are the mission objectives, sir? You are to inspect all cargo-carrying vessels that pass through this area. To accomplish this, target each freighter and transport, then fly close enough for your ship's sensors to determine what cargo the vessel has on board. Check your progress on the mission goal screen, toggled by hitting the G key. Now I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask anyway for you guys, what craft will I be flying? You will fly the TIE fighter designated Alpha-1. You will be the only craft in your flight group. Stay alert for radio messages as this mission progresses. Use your message log, toggled by hitting the L key, to review this communication. And what opposition will there be? Freighter traffic has been above normal in this area. We think this is related to the retreat of rebel forces in the aftermath of our attack on their base on Hoth. Stay alert for rebels hidden amongst the freighter convoys. That's enough for now, sir. So with that done, we have our objectives, we know what we need to do, let's go ahead and uh, enter mission. Whoa. Incoming ships. They are entering the area near Boyd B-18. What the? Oh, here we go. TIE Fighter Alpha-1, inspect all craft. Freighters requesting permission to pass through this Are they sector. closer than the freighters? Sector. Yeah, I think they are. They're roughly the same distance, but I'm gonna get to these first.
me link my lasers. Okay. I probably should slow down! Holy crap! Ah, crap, I missed one. What are you carrying? What are you carrying? The other one have workers. What do you have? Rebels? Oh, workers. Okay. On EC1. What do you have? Food stuff. Re Rebels? Food stuff. Warning. Illegal cargo located on one of the freighters. Alpha One, help the transport weaken the freighter shields. Yes, sir. Let me just finish scanning these. Imperial transports are being dispatched to board the freighter. Excellent work, Alpha One. Primary mission objectives completed. The first wave of freighters and transports has been inspected. Good work. Help with the capture operation to return. Job well done, Alpha One. That was upside down. Okay, I just want to lower their shields. I'll be good to go. 40%. 30%. Oh crap, rebels are coming in. The incoming shuttles have not identified themselves. 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. Shields are down. All TIE fighters, beware of enemy shuttles. No, this is probably not a good idea. Actually... Troopers? Oh yeah, that's the... Oh! Whoa! No, no. You're not gonna get me. Alpha One, there are some new crops to inspect. Yes, sir. I'll get right on it, sir! Rebel scum! Yeah, at least I got to kill one of them. Let's see. Corellian transports. Oh, and we got two freighters from what I can see. At least we got one of the rebels down. Alpha One, capture operation. What are you complete. carrying? Water? Food stuffs? And you? Food stuffs. Good. Full speed. Protect the captured freighter. Uh, I, I will in a moment, sir. <laughs> Sorry. No cargo. Excellent. Machinery. Work, Alpha One. Secondary objectives completed. Okay, gonna go kill me some Good. rebel scum. I just hope I don't die. This craft doesn't have any shields. Oh! Almost hit. Come on, I'm getting closer. Whoa! Uh, you're not getting away. Speed. Matching target speed. Excellent shooting. Ha <laughs> I'm an ace pilot. Shooting Alpha One. Target destroyed. Of course. <laughs> Are there any more? Oh crap. 
Uh, again, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Because, I mean, I've completed all my mission goals. Oh, crap, they're coming for me, aren't they? Uh-uh, I'm heading back to base. I'm heading back to base. Yep, they're coming for me. I'm gaining speed. Ah, good. They're broken off. Should I help them? I don't know if... I don't have shields on this thing. If they hit me, I'm a gunner. Oh, crap! No, 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 no! Crap. Screw it! Screw it! I'm heading back. Where's... Okay, there's the base. I can't take a hit on this thing. <laughs> this is what all TIE fighter pilots should do. Run away. And by zigzagging, I lost... Ah, there it is. Get away. No. This is Gamma 1. Target destroyed. Good, <sighs> they saved me. <laughs> But I have no radar, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dock. Okay. So let's see, I had 86% accuracy. Uh, okay, I guess that's good. Uh, all primary goals complete, all secondary goals completed. Tidarian shuttle, four of them were destroyed. Oh no, three of them were destroyed. By me! <laughs> oh, we lost a TIE fighter. But we captured a freighter. Okay, good. You have discovered a freighter full of rebels trying to escape from their base on Hoth. Excellent work. As we expected, fleeing rebels are trying to sneak through this sector. We captured a freighter full of rebels trying to escape from the planet Hoth. Hoth, a nearby ice planet, was the main base of the rebels. The recent Imperial attack on this base has driven their forces into flight. The interrogation of these rebel prisoners should help us track more of them down. That is enough for now, sir. Alright, so from here on, we return to briefing to go to the second mission. And now, here's the interesting part. Not only do I have my official orders from the flight officer, I now also have missions from this cloaked figure. How may I serve the Emperor? I am a special envoy of the Emperor. In this time of crisis, political intrigue and open rebellion, the Emperor requires special means of communication with his loyal forces. In the battles ahead, I will ensure that his wishes reach those like yourself who have pledged their fealty to him. You will have many opportunities to serve the Emperor and will be rewarded for your efforts. In the mission ahead, locate the rebel officers who are fleeing from Hoth in a stolen Imperial shuttle. We have forces standing by who will attempt to disable and capture this shuttle once you have located it. So as you can see, you can get bonus objectives from the Emperor and by completing those objectives, you can get special uh, medals, awards, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, that's essentially the game. If you guys want me to continue playing, just let me know. I'll go ahead and make a playlist. Uh, but I mean, even if you guys don't want me to, I'm going to continue playing this thing on my own because I love this game. It's not just because it's a Star Wars simulator, it's because this is quite the blast from the past for me. It's quite the nostalgia trip. I loved this game when I was younger and I love it still to this day. So as always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.